Hi, I'm Seth with Land the House, and this is a hydraulic ram pump, a water pump that requires no fuel or electricity to operate, just falling water. A question I'm asked often, will a bigger pump pump higher and produce more water than a smaller pump? It's a good question. This is a one inch pump, and this, my test pump, is a half inch. I have both of these models for sale at my Land to House website. And the difference in size is not gonna be how high they can lift water, but the volume that they pump. So this one inch pump requires around six gallons per minute to operate, which means when you open the drive pipe, the waste valve in combination with the delivery pipe here is gonna require about six gallons. Now, if you close this off, it's still gonna use six gallons. It's just gonna all be shot out of the waste valve here. So we know that it requires six gallons, and that means uh, based on the setup, it's going to pump a higher volume of water uphill than this pump would in the same setup. Because the half inch pump needs around two to two and a half gallons a minute to operate at all times. So the lift is not changed, but the amount of water required to run the pump and the amount of water that you get at the top is increased as the pump size goes up. So the head pressure that I'm talking about is the water falling into the pump. It's a ratio of about one to seven. So for every one foot of fall, you can have seven feet of lift. And that's consistent across all the sizes that I have at Land House. So now you know the difference between the size of pump. You can measure your source water, whether it be a creek or river. And if you have two gallons per minute for the half inch pump, three to four gallons per minute for the three quarter inch pump, six gallons a minute for the one inch, and eight gallons a minute for the one and a quarter inch pump. You can determine which pump you want to use for your setup. Now let's head over here to my little setup and I'll show you how to operate the pump. You need a water source. In my example, I'm just using a bucket with water in it but you're gonna to want to use the ram pump in a creek or small river. There are a couple things you need. A drive pipe, which carries the water to the pump. This has to have head pressure, and that is drop in elevation. So as you can see, my bucket is up and it has a three foot drop that goes down here to the pump. Now the pump has two check valves and a pressure tank. This is called the waste valve. It's the same size as the drive pipe. In this example, half inch. Then I have a secondary valve, which is in line, and next is a pressure tank. So to start the pump, I need to just push the waste valve down until it builds pressure in the pressure tank. What's happening is water comes down this drive pipe, and when this valve closes, it creates a pressure wave that's shot back up the drive pipe, but also into the waste, uh, the inline valve here. So it will build pressure in the pressure tank, and whenever that pressure is great enough, it will start cycling on its own. Almost there. There we go. And I have the delivery pipe side open. This tube comes around, goes way up this 12 foot ladder and is pouring out here. This three foot of drop that is coming from my source is able to pump water up to about 20 feet. And if you were to add more head pressure, it would lift even higher. If you're watching this video on my website, landahouse.com, I want to show you what comes in the box when you purchase one of these pumps. When you buy a Land House Ram Pump, it's gonna come in a box like this. There's gonna be four parts inside the box. The pressure tank, which is gonna be the large PVC pipe with one threaded end. Then you're gonna have two ball valves with half a union. One quick note, sometimes in transit, the O-ring will come out of that union half. Oftentimes I put a piece of tape over here, so if you see tape, just uh, remove it. But make sure those O-rings are in place. Lastly, we have everything else. 
It's got your waste valve, your inline valve, connection for pressure tank, and then the other half of the union. To assemble the pump, you're going to take the ball valve with union piece, stick it in the appropriate location, and get that tightened down. Now on the half inch pumps, the delivery side and the drive pipe side are gonna be the same size, so you won't have to worry about uh, matching those up properly. Once that's done, you're then going to take your pressure tank and just screw that onto that pipe razor, just like that. Make sure it's nice and snug and your pump will be assembled. Now let's talk about pipe connections. The pump does not come with a delivery pipe or drive pipe. You'll have to buy those separate. But on these ball valves, you'll notice it has female threads. So to get that pipe attached to those threads, if you're gonna be using PVC pipe as your drive pipe or delivery pipe, then you'll need one of these threaded male to socket female adapters and you'll just use some PVC cement to get that together. And then that end is what will connect to the threads on your pump. Now, if you're using poly pipe, also known as black flex pipe, you can see it uh, bends here. You'll need to get what's known as a barb fitting. Here's a nice dirty one. That barb fitting just fits in there. Oftentimes you use a hose clamp to keep that from moving about. And that end will then thread into the uh, threads of your ball valve. Now, just a word of my experience. The PVC drive pipe is gonna be far superior to a drive pipe made of poly pipe. Because when that pressure wave starts kicking, this pipe will jump and you'll lose a lot of potential. As a delivery pipe though, going up to your final, sor or final storage tanks, great choice. PVC is by far the better drive pipe to operate the pump. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helps you in determining which size pump you need and how to get the ram pump going. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.